Minneapolis is the scene for the Rockets. He's 6'8 with a 7'2 wingspan. Tar Eason has all the makings of a defensive stopper, and they'll need him to lock it up as they wind up for action at Target Center. Rockets, Timberwolves, coming right up after this. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. That's pretty intriguing, D.A. It's an interesting story, and we thank you for giving it to us. Well, we expect to see Sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And But with the way the game is played today, you know, we could see them battling at the arc. <laughs> Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. Here's the starting group for Houston. The post pairing for him, Smith, along with Shengun. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. And it's Kennard in at the small forward position. And for the Timberwolves. Underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. Anthony Edwards out there with McDaniels. And it's Anderson. And at the... The three, the small forward. Now here's Porter. Smith outside. Off target. three-point range. It's Gobert with the ball for Minnesota. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Yeah, and, and the focus was to get stops. All game, they were right up on shooters, and that led to some big-time rejections. The best defenses do a great job of protecting the rim. That team did not give an inch. They defended and contested every shot. And so the Houston Rockets get the first points of the ball game. For three, Edwards... Rebound by Smith. 
And here are the Rockets. He kicks it to Porter. Outside, Green. Misses the three. Minnesota's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Pass to Edwards. Over Porter. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Uh, Anthony Edwards has length and strength, and defense is there, but he just makes it look easy. Porter passes to Smith. Here's Kennard. Houston moving it around. Green kicks to Kennard. Drills it from outside. Listen, everyone knows what kind of shooter this guy is. Just his presence on the floor creates space. Outside, Towns. There's the pass to McDaniels. Kept alive. And Towns gets it to go. Exactly what you love to see from Cat. That aggressiveness, that assertiveness on the backboards. Here's Green. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. The Rockets shooting their first free throw of the evening. And how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. good from green guys you have to remember when thinking and talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves it's an organization that is still so young now here's Edwards he picked up 36 points in the last one against Toronto they grabbed their own miss nice shot by Gobert well Rudy Gobert securing the board and making sure to convert and that was the mobile one drive well worth a second look Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. You know, basketball historians will remember that the Minneapolis Lakers doors won five titles before relocating to Los Angeles in 1960. And I think the current crop of T-Wolves fans, Kevin, see this as a completely different franchise from that historic team. In their minds, they haven't won a championship yet. And that fact should really motivate this current roster to get one for this group. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. It's Gobert with the ball for Minnesota. Trailing by two. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was played down in Houston. Yeah, and, and their last time playing against this club, they fell short. A lot of cheap fouls really plagued their starting unit. You know, you try to establish consistent substitution patterns. It helps you stay in a rhythm, and they had to go to their bench much too early. Here's Shengun. Rudy Gobert picking up that last basket. Smith, another miss by Houston. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. And this is what the really good defensive players do. They anticipate and they're rarely fooled. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And something you always hear about Jaden McDaniels, Doris, is how effortless he makes the game look. Kev, when I watch this guy play, I feel like he glides through an NBA game. There's a finesse that you don't necessarily see from players his size. He's a handful on the low block. This young man is brimming with potential. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And now, Greg, that we're into the meat of the season, are you seeing any emerging trends out there? For a few years, uh, the trend had been guys shooting from farther and farther out. But, Kevin, I think we're seeing a return of the big men, a, a more concerted effort to attack the interior. And McDaniels drops them both. Boy, this hurts to have to bring up, but I was there for the Rockets' title-winning days back in 94 when I was with the Knicks. I saw Houston in the finals firsthand. Now, here's Kennard. 
The jumper from the free throw line is good. Kennard's got five points so far. Yeah, Luke Kennard's mid-range game on point right there. Out to the right wing. And they call an illegal screen here. Back-to-back -back titles for the Rockets in the mid-90s. You were just talking about that. Greg, what sticks out to you about those teams? First and foremost, the dream. Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, he doesn't get his due at times, but the dream is one of the all-time greats. Olajuwon's defense really changed games. Now here's Gobert. Nine points, last game out. Here's McDaniels. Not going to go that time. Ice D from Porter. Houston's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Green passes to Porter. He dishes it to Smith. That one falls. Oh, love the determination Smith showed there. Refusing to let the contact alter his shot. Outside Towns. It's stolen by Smith. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Yeah, they, they took advantage of some porous defense in that one. Really got the shots they wanted. Give them some credit. I'll tell you this. They caught an opponent on a very off night defensively, and you take advantage. Simple as that. Porter kicks to Kennard. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Kennard's got seven points. How about that? Luke Kennard looking very comfortable on the interior. That's a tremendous finish. Anderson outside. Pass to Gobert. Got a hand on it. Smith against Towns. Pass to Shangun. Green left side. In the corner, Smith with it. No good with the triple. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this court. Edwards, that's good. Anthony Edwards, excellent concentration under pressure of excellent defense and just scores it anyway. Now here's Porter. A 23-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. Gobert with the block. And he recovers it. Shot clock at six. Back to Kennard. Well, let's remember, Rudy Gobert has got a seven-foot-nine wingspan. Sometimes it's just easy picking sending it back. It's Edwards on the wing. Guarded by Porter. Edwards passes to Gobert. Over Kennard. No good on that one. The Rockets go the other way with it. On the wing, Green. Towns with the defensive effort. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Now, here's McDaniel. Shangun covering. They now take the lead. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Houston Rockets. They trail by one. Shangun finds Smith. Now Porter, Edwards defending. And it's Jaden McDaniels with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's already this guy's second foul now. He's either going to have to sit or play a bit more conservatively. Timeout called the Rockets. GA, the Houston Rockets, coming off back-to-back -back losing seasons. And that has been tough for that franchise and for the city. And, Kevin, no doubt it affects the team's morale. It's hard to find the positives and see the road ahead. But, listen, you've got to stay strong and focus on just getting better every day.
Smith outside. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Smith's got five now. And a guy who hit 44% from three in college, Smith is an elite outside shooter. Here's Edwards. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. Houston's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Green kicks to Smith. Green in the post. McDaniels defended. Launches it. Rebound by Smith. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Now, McDaniels. He's coming off a 25-point game against Toronto. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Here is Porter following the three by Minnesota. Pass to Smith from past the arc. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got four rebounds now tonight. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Edwards can't hit. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And this is how you execute in transition. Porter Jr. enjoys leaking out and running all over the defense. Edwards looking it over. Anderson outside. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Noel in for McDaniel. Minnesota in the lead. Left side, Anderson. To the paint. Here's Gobert. That shot, no good. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Here's Green, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Oh, how about the agility from Green finding a way to get to his spot despite the contact? And with that lightning first step of Jalen Green, very few defenders have a chance of keeping him in front. from Green and Greg one thing about that blinding speed of Green he's got to make his reads faster as well I think the game is slowing down for him though Kevin and that and speeding up his shot release uh, will make him even tougher to deal with well this guy has been efficient and effective all night that IQ has been on display now the pass to Kanan the three a shot, no good. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Edwards drives in. He shoots again. That shot's off. He's made half and missed half of his eight shots. Shengun passes to Porter. Passes it to Shengun. Back to Green. Smith wide open. He fired. Another miss by Houston. Listen, if you're that wide open, you have to take the shot, even if it's not your favorite. Here's Anderson. Green with the block. A wiry guard. Green's length can sneak up on you. Might have just surprised the shooter. Gobert with the block. The shot's good from Smith. Fifty-one seconds left in the first quarter. 
Pass to Noel. And here's Reed. Outside Edwards. Driving in. And Edwards with the stuff. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. It's trailed by four. Green taking his time here. The tray nailed from three-point land. Green's got 11. Green knows that he needs to take and make threes at a good clip. Nice shot there. Anthony Edwards has been leading the charge for the Timberwolves. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll return shortly. We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And guys, what's your take so far on the Timberwolves? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And so it's Minnesota with it. Two big men inside. Towns and Gobert. McDaniels is out there with Edwards, and it's Anderson in a small forward. So that's the Timberwolves five. Well, Carl Anthony Towns entered the league as a force in scoring the basketball. Now he's honing his passing skills. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now, Jalen Green is on a mission. He says, every time I step on the floor, I always have something to prove to who's ever in those stands. A lot of people will hate on me or have their opinions. I'm just going to think about that when I step on the floor. I'm going to prove everybody wrong. Kevin? That's a great chip to keep on his shoulder. David, thanks. Now, here is Smith. He had 19 points in the win against Charlotte. You know what else impressed me? How infectious his tenacity was. Simply a wrecking ball on the boards, collecting huge amounts of rebounds. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Houston making a switch. Garuba's checked in, and the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Tate, he's checked in for Houston. Rockets trailed by three. Here is Porter. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. And finished off by McDaniel. You can tell Carl Anthony Towns is about the team. This guy's solid at working the basketball around. Porter passes to Kanan. Houston moving it around. Anderson against Tate. You can't get that one. Good D by Anderson. And last year, Minnesota had a tough end to their season in their 10th playoff appearance. 
They made their ninth first round exit. Porter passes to Green. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Green's got 14 points for the game. Oh, not even thinking about it. When Green is catching and firing like that, you know he's feeling it. Towns for three. It's good from long range. Towns has got the lead up to five now for the Timberwolves. I don't think the Timberwolves, Greg, plan on letting their playoff statistics discourage them at all. And that's kind of the beauty of this squad. They're out to make new franchise history. Not focusing on the past. Just keep evolving as a team. Timberwolves leading by three. Pass to McDaniels. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, it's good. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for Minnesota. Uh, how about the ferocity we have seen from them on defense? I mean, they're looking to contest every shot that goes up. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. Rockets trailed by five. To the inside. Gobert with the defensive effort. Inside. Here's Towns. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Porter kicks to Kanon. To the paint. Here's Smith. Gobert with the block. Down low. It's stolen by Tate. Here's Kanon. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Well, guys who are known as shooters are always ready on the catch. Luke Kennard, rising fire. Gobert can't hit. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul. And here are the Rockets now. It's a five-point game. Smith scanning the floor. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. And Smith with the stuff. And, guys, we're going to see a lot of that from this young man. Smith right now beasting. A floater. It's blocked. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Kanon. Anderson outside. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. Drills the three-pointer. Edwards got five points now in the quarter. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Leaner from distance. Porter, no luck. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. McDaniels dishes to Towns. Back to McDaniel. The pass to Towns. Over Porter, and there's another one for the Timberwolves. If Carl Anthony Towns carves space and is in the painted area, it's going to go in the basket. He's that good. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. And Kevin, little plays like that one will help them manage this lead heading into the half. How about the determination? And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now here's Edwards. 16 points for him. Nick Daniels finds Edwards. And another three for Minnesota. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Pass to Tate. Now, here's Kanon. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Pass to Edwards. 
And you talk to the great ball handlers, and they say, Greg, that footwork is an underappreciated aspect of it. Why is that? It's like a dance. You're eluding the defender mostly with your feet. The, the ball handling part is just making sure the ball comes along for the ride. Now Green after the miss three from Kyle Anderson. Time out, time out. Count that one. And the Timberwolves lead has been cut down now to just seven on the basket from Porter. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. And the assets traded by the Wolves for Rudy Gobert surprised a lot of people. In essence, five first-round picks, three of them unprotected. They'd better hope this thing works out. A lot riding on. Prince has checked in for Gobert. Edwards against Porter. Now the feed to Prince. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Prince has got the lead up to nine now for the Timberwolves. Pass to Kennard. From 12 feet out, and it's Houston with another. Boy, that was solid coverage on Luke Kennard. He just stays focused, locks in, and even with the contest, able to make the jumper. And there's the pass to Prince. Passes it to Towns over Smith. Just five on the clock. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. They've been doing a lot of things right in this game, but something they have to improve on is their ball security. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Reed's checked in. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. They trail by seven. Porter outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Porter's got his third bucket of the night. Nice pull-up, Jay, there by Porter. Keeping the defense on their toes and striking fast. Here's McDaniels. Here's Towns. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And, and they continue to control the glass. Porter looking it over. Smith outside. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his fourth assist in this one. And I like the way they're using the entire court here in the second quarter. Their three-point percentage has gone through the roof. Edwards can't hit. Rockets trail by three. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Porter's got nine points. Defenses try to test Porter's physicality, but he's adjusted well to it. Pass to Towns. Pass to Reed. Rockets with the rebound. Kennard's got his fourth rebound in this one. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one is on Towns. And we've seen some great scorers come into the lead, but Green looks elite. Both the physical gifts and that fearless approach. Shoot two. No good on that one. And once the G League took it to another level, Green skipped college, became the number two overall pick in the draft. And that's really changed the landscape. Morris checked in for Towns. Shen Goon's checked in for the Rockets. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Characteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. And it's blocked. Edwards against Porter. The pass to Shengu. On the wing, Green. Three-pointer on the way. Shengu with out, the bucket. Out. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Rockets. 
they're contesting shots and, and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooters. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Noel, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves trail. Now here's Edwards. He's got 19 to the right side. Here's Noel. That's tipped. Porter against Edwards. And then Porter with the jam. This young man is unreal. I mean, can you believe that? And a look at the Mobile One Drive. Driving right into your living room. That's an incredible move by him on what's been an impressive night all around. Rockets leading by four. Great, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here Three this one. quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And with Kevin Porter Jr. and Michael Porter Jr. and Otto Porter Jr. Uh, guys, I'm sensing a pattern here. <laughs> <laughs> it can even get a little confusing at times, but no relation that I'm aware of. They're just Porters, Juniors, and quality NBA players. One shot. He throw good Porter and one of those guys who fell in the draft the year he came out due to injury Porter healed up and has taken the lead by storm here's Noel he's a good contributor to his team averaging about 10 and a half points a game and, and Kevin they started the game shooting it so well I, I'm surprised they haven't continued they've got to get back to their strength kicks to green from deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Edwards. Timberwolves trailed by five. Anderson outside. And it's Houston on the break. There's Porter with the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Minnesota's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. A baseline J. Edwards can't hit. That's one he knows he should have drained. Green inside. 41 seconds left to play in the first half. Five to shoot. Here's Kanon. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And here's Edwards. I'm deep. Oh, he got it to go. Wow. How about that? That's a miracle. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. It was a big-time first quarter from Jalen Green. He had 16 points, three rebounds, and one block. Kenny, what would you think about the Rockets? Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball, and that means playing with poise making good decisions, and not giving away any possessions. They did a great job of that in the first half. And Shaq, what do you think about Minnesota? They were really efficient, great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. 
They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they have been so far. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You know, Anthony Edwards has been exceptional here, guys. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. And let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Checking out the group for Steven Silas to start the second half. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. Alperin Shangoon out there with Jayshon Tate. And it's Kennard in at the three. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Rockets leading by four. Green with the ball. Here's the teardrop. That one goes in. Green's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Rockets. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. McDaniels in the post. Porter's there. Houston's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. To the left wing. D2 from Anderson. Here's Gobert. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Well, the length and the size of Rudy Gobert. So problematic for defenses. Nothing they can do there but foul him. The Timberwolves made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A free throw drops for Gobert. And there's a record Rudy Gobert set without much fanfare a few years ago. Most dunks in an NBA season. That's exactly right, G.A. That, that was back in the 2018-19 season. He threw it down 306 times. Certainly makes sense for a guy who's got that kind of length, athleticism, and the guy who spent so much time right around the cup. And one of the biggest stories of the summer was Rudy Gobert being traded. Gets a fresh start with the Timberwolves. Now, here's Shangu. Defended by Gobert. And the wide open shot from Green. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Green's got the lead up to seven out for Houston. And we've seen this all night. Green with a wide range of ways to score. And boy, he just keeps coming. Edwards passes to McDaniels. Back to Edwards. Jacks up a three. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Well, an 0 for 3 start to the half. You need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. And Tate gets it to go. Boy, that's 3 for 4 this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. And Edwards puts up a deep 3. Another miss by Minnesota. Wow, another empty possession out of the gates. 0 for 4 in this half. Brutal. Tate finds Kennard. Over Gobert. Gobert with the block. Passes it to Edwards. Gobert against Tate. Outside Towns. Outside Edwards. 
over Kanaan. It's good, and the Rocket lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Edwards. After an ugly 0 for 4 to start the half, they get one to fall. Out of bounds, Minnesota takes possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Left side, Anderson. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Drains it from beyond the arc. McDaniels got 10. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Shingun. We call that solid fundamentals. Luke Kennard finding his teammate on time and on target. Outside, Edwards. McDaniels kicks to Edwards. And again, Minnesota with the triple. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. Now a timeout called by Houston. And you look at Anthony Edwards. And G.A., he is becoming the leader of this Timberwolves team, isn't he? I think he is. I mean, partly it's his production with his numbers up across the board. But it's also his personality. He plays with tremendous swagger. Smith checked in for Houston. Pass to Kennard. Offline with his three. Timberwolves trailed by three. Here's Towns, and Towns throws it down. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Over in the corner, Green. Back to Smith. Trying to find Shangun. He gets it to him. And good that time. shangun has got four this quarter. And Smith already understands that you have to be unselfish if you're going to gain the respect of your teammates and coaches. Edwards kicks to Towns. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Perfect timing on that rejection. Boy, Towns really improving on the defensive end. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Anderson. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Pass to Kanaan. Here's the three. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Towns has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Gobert. And the rejection by Smith. A relentless defender. Smith proving how disruptive he can be on that end. Here's Towns. He's got 13. Now McDaniels for the lead. And Towns with the lay-in good. Towns has got 15. Yeah, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. And Porter, here we go. That's a two from Kennard. No good. In and out. Off the rim. And he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. And it's a three-point Minnesota lead. Well, the addition of the upper body strength, it's turned Rudy Gobert from role player to all NBA. Go ahead and absorb it, Rudy. Smith kicks to Green. And some nice passing there by Houston. And the rejection by Towns. Over to the left wing. Here's McDaniels. Got it. Good job in the low post. 12 points for him. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for Minnesota. Uh, they made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the charts. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game. 
crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Smith, no luck. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. The Timberwolves shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. Free throw, good, Anderson. John Walls checked in for Kevin Porter. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Rockets trailed by four. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Wall. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Towns has got rebound number 13 with that last one. The pass to Edwards. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's his first foul. Edwards against Wall. And the layup's good off the glass. Edwards got seven points for the quarter. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. This is his first free throw of the game. An 80% shooter. The work he's done at the line this season. One word, solid. good on the free throw. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Noel comes in for Anderson. And it's Conley in for Edwards. He doesn't get the second one. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Here's Noel. Here's Reed. And it's denied. Smith dishes the wall. Passes to Shengu. Over in the corner, Green. To the middle. Here's Kanon. Good. Timeout, Great timeout. play by Green to set it up. Green's got five assists tonight. Minnesota calls timeout. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Timberwolves leading by four. Here's McDaniels. 12 points for him. Over Kanon. The shot by McDaniels. No good. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Wall. Good work there as it goes. Wall's got his first basket. That's their third straight make off an assist. Conley, the pass to Reed. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And the Timberwolves lead by four. Pass to Kennard. 
Over in the corner, Green. No good on the three. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Timberwolves. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Out to the right wing. Here's Noel. Headed by Green. Six on the shot clock. Over Smith. Conley gets the bucket. Now it's a six-point Minnesota lead. Well, Mike Conley has mastered pick-and-roll play and does such a good job making the right decisions. Right wing with his first shot attempt. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Looked like some confusion defensively that time. Left him wide open for a nice look on the jumper. Here's Noel. Can't hit from 12. Rockets trailed by four. Here's Smith. And it's Houston with another. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Noel passes to McDaniels. Shoots from 12. Conley's shot is off. Houston's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Kennard for three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. This guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. Now, here's McDaniel. Not a lot of room. Here's Reed. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Wall against Conley. to Reed. Uncovered. The Rockets pull it in. Smith's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Kennard for three. Carries it from three-point range. Kennard's got 18 points. A good look there. And he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Reed kicks to Jones. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Wall with a block. John Wall, such a smart, disruptive defender. And, and you can tolerate gaffes like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. And so here is Houston. Three-point lead. From the arc, sinks the triple. Five points in the game. Now John Wall's vision is unquestioned. He puts it on time and on target, creates an easy look for his teammate. And we've reached the end of the third. Rockets ahead as they end the third quarter with a huge surge, an 18-7 run. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Downs is out there with Nas Reed. And it's Forbes in at the two spot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. For three, Smith. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. The defense a step slow. And you can see the results. And there's the pass to Noel. Pass to Alexander Walker. Lock at six. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Houston. 
outside, Mark. To the wing on the left. Left side wall. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Bryn Forbes. Rockets leading by nine. Wall looking for an opening. John Wall, of course, the number one pick back in 2010. Game is largely predicated on speed, the ability to get downhill. But boy, he has added strength to that incredibly long frame. He has been a force to be reckoned with. And he makes the first. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Conley's checked in. And a change for the Rockets. Tate's checked in. And so John Wall nails both of them. Timberwolves trailed by 11. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. That one drops for him. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. To the right side. Here's Tate from out on the wing. He knocks it down. Tate's only got the lead up to 11 now for the Rockets. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Smith the pass to Tate, and there's the drive. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got four assists in the game. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for Houston. Great job by this team closing out, blocking a bunch of shots, and just a tremendous effort defensively. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Here's Christopher for three. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Here's Wall. And the call will be against Jabari Smith. That's his third foul of the game. Timberwolves trailed by 11. Minnesota calls timeout. Go Barry's checked in for the Timberwolves. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. He is not pleased, and he told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move, or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Takes the 13-footer. A nice shot by Wall. Wall's got four points this quarter. It may be impossible to stay in front of John Wall. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Rockets leading by ten. Three-pointer. Hits the three-point bomb. Boy, John Wall in his second season made only three threes. Look how much more comfortable from deep he is. Pass to Alexander Walker. 
pass to Gobert. And the rejection by Smith. For the three. He can't hit that time. And Minnesota will come the other way. Here's Alexander Walker. Hands it from downtown. Alexander Walker's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. There's the pass to Tate. And it's blocked. Conley against Wall. Here's Towns. Gobert trying to get open. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Jabari Smith picks one up. And the number one overall pick in 2015, Carl Anthony Towns has been the franchise player in Minnesota, but out to prove he can be the cornerstone on a contender. Two. The free throw drops for Towns. Greg, in order for Towns to get the Wolves to where they want to go and certainly where he wants to go, how does he take the next step? Uh, for me, last season, an inconsistent playoff performance for Cat. He's got to make an imprint on the game even when shots aren't falling. Porter's checked in for Josh Christopher. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Conley with it. Now guarded by Porter. It'll go. The rocket lead is cut down now to just nine in the basket from Noel. There's a reason Mike Conley's teammates love playing with him. If you're open, I promise he'll find you. Tate the pass to Smith. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Shengun's checked in for the Rockets. Green comes in for John Wall. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the rejection by Smith. Green passes to Shengun. A whole selfless play right there from Green. He's all about getting it to the open man. Conley with it, now guarded by Porter. Shoots. The Rockets pull it in. Green's got seven rebounds in the game. Tate. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Tate's only got the lead up to 13 now for the Rockets. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And it's good, two points. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Shangun finds Green. Count that bucket. Green's got 23. Putting his size to use. Green's got great length, and it helps him there inside. Gobert the pass to Noel. No good on the triple. Rockets leading by 13. Smith dishes to Porter. Good. Nice job down low. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Outside, Towns. He kicks to Anderson. Launches a three. That'll be Minnesota as it goes out of bounds. Timberwolves retain possession. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Edwards has checked in. And a switch here also for Houston. Kennard, he's checked in for Smith. Outside Edwards. Hey, who's watching him? This one for three. Kennard with the rebound. Kennard's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Drops in the layup for two. 20 points for him. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Outside, Edwards. Passes it to Noel. It's deflected. 
That's tipped. It's stolen by Gobert. Outside, Towns. And Alperin Shangoon gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. McDaniels, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And a switch here also for Houston. Smith checked in for Tate. Here is Edwards. Towns kicks to Edwards. Releases. And he knocks down the jumper. Edwards got 31. And, and you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them, trying to will this team to victory. Smith, the pass to Green. And Green slams it in. Look at Green just taking off and throwing it down right in the face of the defense. Pass to McDaniels. Porter against Edwards. Shot clock at six. From deep. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Yeah, another turnover. But guys on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. Edwards against Porter. Edwards kicks to Towns. From the high post. A three from Anderson. Shengun with the rebound. Houston leading by 17. Porter passes to Shengun. The kick out to Porter. Towns with the steal. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Two shots. Foul. Two. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. That's off as well. So he misses both. And here are the Rockets now. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Shengu. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And how about Porter Jr.'s court awareness? Excellent job finding the open man with the pass. And the Timberwolves call time here. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. And now we present our New Balance player of the game. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose and getting those points the hard way. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Timberwolves trailed by 19. Outside Edwards. Lays it up off the glass. Edwards got 11 in the second half. Anthony Edwards has got his rhythm, and he's got a well-rounded offensive game. Look out. Pass to Green. Back to Kennard. The pass to Shengu. Just four to shoot. Gobert with the block. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Green with the rebound. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Back to Kennard. Passes it to Smith. Over Anderson. Second chance shot. And Kennard lays it in. Good. Kennard's got four this quarter. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. 
133 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Rockets. Look at their number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball movement. And so all the hard work here tonight converted into a tally in the win column. It'll be number 26 on the year. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. And while there was some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Jabari Smith. Boy, whatever was needed, he provided it. He was the jack of all trades. Big bucket on one end, big defensive play on the other. I thought his influence was felt all over the floor. Towns, that's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Boy, the well-rounded offensive arsenal allows Cat to deliver consistently on the offensive end. And boy, he is in rhythm right now. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Houston moving it around. Porter kicks to Kanaan. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. Outside, Edwards. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.